lawsuit against Donald Trump for violating the law as part of his efforts to generate profits for himself, his family, and his company. In the world of business, fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. For Donald Trump, a man who has seen soaring highs and challenging lows, the latest chapter in his saga is one of legal battles and potential repercussions. The civil fraud case against him has sent ripples across the business community, casting a shadow over his vast empire, including his beloved Trump Tower. At the heart of the case are allegations that Trump and his company provided inflated statements of his net worth and asset values to banks and insurers. These accusations, if proven, could have severe consequences, not just in terms of financial penalties, but also in the potential loss of some of his most prized assets. Among those at risk is Trump Tower the very symbol of Trump's real estate empire. A negative outcome in the trial could see Trump losing control over this iconic property, a prospect that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. The tower, a symbol of Trump's ambition and vision, now finds itself at the center of a legal storm. Recent developments in the case have only added to the uncertainty. From potential fines to the looming threat of jail time, the stakes have never been higher for Trump, and as the legal proceedings unfold, the future of Trump Tower hangs in the balance. Today, we're going to examine why Trump Tower means so much to Donald, the history and the architecture of the building, and will the Trump Empire ultimately crumble? Now, Donald Trump is a successful businessman with many buildings that bear his name, but Trump Tower? This baby is one of his favourites. It's the place that defined him, the one he handpicked for his residence, office, TV show and campaign headquarters. Before the world knew Trump as the 45th President of the United States, many recognised him as the face of The Apprentice. Trump Tower served as a backdrop for this hit TV show with its boardroom becoming one of the most iconic settings in reality television. Here, Trump's catchphrase, you're fired, echoed, cementing his image as a decisive business mogul. As the 2016 presidential campaign heated up, Trump Tower became its epicenter. It was from here that Trump announced his candidacy, and it was within these walls that strategies were devised, speeches were written, and decisions were made. The tower became synonymous with Trump's campaign, drawing supporters, protesters and media from around the world. Donald Trump had long dreamed of owning a tower in Manhattan since he was a wee boy, but only began to realise his dreams when he was in his 30s. Trump eventually got his hands on the site for Trump Tower in 1979, before quickly demolishing the 1920s department store that stood there. He then had to persuade the New York City Department of City Planning to rezone the area to allow a tall building in this location. In what appears to be a great foresight by Trump, he actually hired Der Schutt as the architect of Trump Tower in July 1978, a year before the site was purchased. Trump's design brief was simple, very expensive looking and very tall. Der Schutt envisioned a building that was both functional and iconic. His design philosophy for Trump Tower was clear, to create a structure that was unmistakably modern, yet timeless. Unlike the sea of boxy international style skyscrapers dominating the skyline in New York City, Scott ventured into uncharted territory, intently studying the blueprints of other towering structures. He envisioned Trump Tower as a distinctive 28-faced marvel, anchoring its foundation with an inverted pyramid of cubes. This bold departure from convention sparked both admiration and scepticism. While lauded for its creativity, critics pondered alternatives, suggesting the tower could have been cloaked in masonry to harmonise with its surroundings. The city, in the end, embraced this daring design solidifying Trump Tower's place in the architectural tapestry of the city. 
two pivotal choices affected the construction. The commitment to a robust concrete superstructure and the visionary approach of crafting it as a mixed-use building within an distinguished 5th Avenue Spatial Zoning District. Initially, the design had 60 storeys, 13 for offices, 40 for residences and a couple for mechanical workings. However, the final blueprint was refined to 58 storeys. Although Trump declares this really should be 68 storeys to account for the oversized atrium. HRH Construction took the reins as the contractor for Trump Tower, marking the beginning of a partnership that would shape many of Trump's future real estate endeavours. In a groundbreaking move for the industry, Barbara Rez assumed the role of construction executive in October 1980, becoming the first woman to oversee a major construction site in New York City. The project encountered hurdles related to its mixed-use status requiring compliance with distinct regulations for residential, commercial and retail spaces, but somehow or another, Trump managed to bob those hurdles. By July 1982, Trump Tower reached its pinnacle, two and a half years since the project commenced. Originally estimated at $100 million, however, many believed the final cost nearly tripled to approximately $300 million a figure that would be over half a billion dollars today when adjusted for inflation. And in this, he succeeded. From its Grand Fifth Avenue entrance to its cascading terraces, every element of Trump Tower's exterior speaks to Scott's genius and Trump's ambition. The Trump Tower distinguishes itself with a blend of audacious design and meticulous craftsmanship. Its facade, a shimmering curtain of reflective bronze tinted glass stands in stark contrast to the traditional brick and mortar structures of its neighbours. This choice of material not only gives the tower its distinctive gleam, but also offers a modern aesthetic that captures the essence of 1980s New York. The tower's construction was a feat in itself. Built using reinforced concrete, a method preferred for its strength and flexibility, Trump Tower was able to achieve both height and a slender profile. This choice of construction material also allowed for larger open floor plans within, a feature that would become a hallmark of its luxury apartments. But what truly sets it apart is its attention to detail. The building's sawtooth faceting, a design choice by its architect Dershut, creates a series of bay windows that offer panoramic views of the city. This design not only maximises the vistas for its inhabitants, but also adds a unique texture to the building's exterior, making it instantly recognisable. There should, the visionary behind this masterpiece, envisioned a building that was both functional and iconic. As you walk along Fifth Avenue, it's hard to miss this architectural work of art. It's not just a building, it's a symbol of audacity, of the belief that with vision and determination, one can redefine the very skyline of the world's greatest city. From its majestic exterior, let's step inside and have a look at the most exceptional feature within the tower, Trump's personal triplex penthouse. This abode reflects a regal ambience, adorned with accents of 24 karat gold and diamonds, exquisitely crafted ceilings and hand-painted murals. Every corner of this residence speaks of extravagance, from its crystal chandeliers to its Italian marble columns. All of this made Trump's luxurious penthouse a residence fit for a king, or a reality TV star turned president. In the sprawling landscape of New York's real estate, many buildings come and go, fading into the annals of history, but Trump Tower? It's different. It's not just a building, it's a symbol, a manifestation of larger-than-life ambitions. Over the years, Trump Tower became synonymous with Trump himself. It witnessed his highs and lows, from his meteoric rise in the real estate world, to his foray into reality TV, and eventually his unexpected political journey. The tower stood tall, a silent observer to the tumultuous life of its owner. 
As the sun sets on Fifth Avenue, casting a golden hue on Trump Tower's gleaming facade, one can't help but wonder. What does the future hold for this architecture marvel amidst the looming shadows of the civil fraud case? As the legal battles unfold and the world watches with bated breath, the fate of this iconic structure hangs in the balance. Will Trump Tower remain the beacon of luxury it was envisioned to be? Or will it become a symbol of a legacy tarnished? Let us know what you think. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, Please subscribe to see more great videos like this.